What's up, peeps? It's your boy, Cincinnati Clad King. I'm going to take you on another DoorDash uh, ride-along. It's been a while, so I think it's time for us to do one. And you are going along with me. Stay tuned. So we're going to do a two-hour shift, a lunchtime shift, so 11 a.m. to probably uh, 1 p.m. And we're going to see how many jobs we get and how much we're going to make in a two-hour shift. All right, we all signed on. Um, my shift just started. And we're going to see how long it takes to get our first uh, pickup and delivery. So a uh, couple things. Uh, well, sound like we got one already. Yes, we do. We got Chick-fil-A, and it's going to pay $12.25, folks. Uh, that took less than a minute. All right. I'll get back with you when we get to Chick-fil-A. All right. We're driving in Chick-fil-A right now. I like Chick-fil-A. They're very efficient. They're concerned about their DoorDash customers and the drivers that pick up for them. And they're pretty uh, efficient on how they get your food to you pretty fast. So here we are, folks. All right, peeps, I got that order from uh, Chick-fil-A. The only thing is, it's uh, 7.3 miles till I get to the customer house. So a uh, pretty long ride. But again, I was very close to Chick-fil-A. No more than two minutes away Head from Chick-fil-A when I got that order. All right, took off my skull cap while I'm driving for this uh, 12, 13 minutes. Let's talk about how DoorDash is uh, paying the drivers now. So in my region now, different regions may be paying different, I'm not sure, but in my region, which is the greater Cincinnati area, I'm driving in the suburbs of Cincinnati, Ohio. So in my region, you're basically getting $3 per delivery and whatever tips that the customer's giving you. I don't, I'm not sure if there's a miles, you know, depending on how many miles you drive difference that you get a premium for that. I don't believe so. I think every delivery is $3. And then if the customer is nice enough to leave you a, uh, a little tip or a nice tip, uh, you get that also. Now again, this order is $12.25. So if my theory is correct, the customer is leaving me a $9.25 tip, which seems pretty high for a $27 order, a food order, but uh, I'm not going to complain. It's $12.25. All right, folks, uh, that's how they're paying in my area right now. I did want to bring up the fact that I believe, so I've been door dashing roughly about a year and a half now. And I believe the pay is different, more beneficiary to me or the drivers. Before I was averaging about $14 an hour. Once we start getting 100% guarantee on tips and the $3 base pay, I'm starting to average between $17 and $20 an hour. So I have seen a difference. Uh, I'm happy with the changes that they made. And I, you know, I. I DoorDash in an area that is pretty much busy. So I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, folks, I just dropped that off at the customer's house. And we're ready to set our app for the next order. All right, <clears throat> no order yet, but just left the customer's house. And we'll wait and see what we how long it'll take us to get another order. All right, folks, it's been seven minutes. Haven't received another order yet, so it's cutting into my average. So that $12.25 might not be that great if I wait much longer for my next order. But we'll be patient. 
we're not doing anything else today. If we make $12.25 an hour, that's what we end up making, but it's $12.25 I wouldn't have had. So we'll wait patiently for my next delivery. So folks, soon as I said that, I have another order for Chick-fil-A. We're gonna accept it. And we're on our way back to Chick-fil-A. Oh, by the way, this order is for $6 even. All right, we're here at Chick-fil-A. We're gonna go in and pick up our second orders. All right, folks, I had something not weird, but happens every once in a while. While I was in Chick-fil-A, got a message that the order was canceled. And then I got another order for a Mexican restaurant and El Rancho. And I'm on my way there to that restaurant. Now, what will happen is I'll get half credit for driving to Chick-fil-A to pick up that order. So I'm going to get $3 for that order. My next order is also $6 for El Rancho. So we're on our way there. Uh, it happens every once in a while. Now, if I wouldn't have said nothing to Chick-fil-A, they would have handed me that food and I would have ended up with free food. But I'm out driving. I don't need free food right now. And the order is already uh, made. So pretty bad for Chick-fil-A unless they hand that off to another customer and give that to them. But as far as me, I wasn't going to take an order that I didn't pay for. It. By the way, today is Martin Luther King's birthday, 2020. So it's kind of a little odd today because you probably got three-fourths of the people not working today. So it's probably like a Saturday, I would say. You know, all the stores are still open. Restaurants are still open. But a lot of people don't have to work today. And again, I'm retired, so I don't have to work any day if I don't want to. But I am doing DoorDash. We at this restaurant now, and we'll go in and pick up our order. Before I go into the restaurant, let's talk about that canceled Chick-fil-A order. Let me uh, explain myself a little bit further. I had the right to take that order, but because it hasn't been handed to me yet, and it was still in the restaurant, I wouldn't feel comfortable of taking that free food. But let's say they would have handed me that food, I would have got in my car, and all of a sudden I got the message that the order was canceled, then that food is mine to do whatever I want with it. I can give it to the homeless, I can take it home to eat later. So I just wanted to explain myself, but because that order was not in my hand, I myself did not feel comfortable of taking that order because maybe the restaurant can, you know, the food's already made, they can give it to another customer. All right, I just wanted to explain myself on that cancel order and why I did not take it and why I did not feel comfortable of taking that order. Let's go into this restaurant. All right, got the order. Um, on my way to the customer's house or place of business. I'm not sure which one it is yet. Uh, but they left some instruction. Front deck. You don't know until you get there what they really mean by front deck. You would think they have a deck, but is there a front deck? Or is it a place of business with a deck there? So we're going to go deliver the order and find out what it really is. That's the problem going to a public school. I looked at the instructions again. It said front desk. Your destination is on the right. Not front deck. All right. Sorry about that, folks. All right, folks. I have that food delivered to the front desk now. And I'm ready for my next order. Now, it's 8 minutes to 12. So, we've been door dashing for 52 minutes right now. Now, we should be up to uh, $21.25. That's not bad for the first hour. Let's keep going. Right now, don't have another order yet, but I'm going to go get some gas. Gas is at $2.07 per gallon here in Cincinnati area. And I'm right now I have a half a tank. So I always like to top off when I see the gas prices that low. Because if I wait, I don't need gas today, but if I wait to tomorrow, gas may be up to $2.87 a gallon. So might as well get it at 207. Oh, I just got another job for Chick-fil-A. It's for eight dollars. So I'm gonna have to wait on the gas and go over here to Chick-fil-A. All right, we got another order for this time for Chick-fil-A. It's for six dollars. 
and of course we're going to accept that. I said Chick-fil-A, I meant Chipotle. All right, we're here at Chipotle's, and also I just received another order for Wendy's. Um, it was like a $3 order, so I'm added on to the route. Let's go in and pick up our food. All right, on my way to drop off the first of the two orders I have, remember I had a Chipotle order and then end up with a Wendy's order on top of that. So first drop off is Chipotle, and then after that, I will drop off the Wendy order. All right, folks, we have another Chick-fil-A order for $5.50. I dropped off both of those orders. Uh, now we're going to Chick-fil-A for $5.50, and this will be my last uh, delivery and my two-hour shift. Actually, I'm signed on longer than for two hours, but the way they schedule their shift sometime, the shift can be a 14-hour shift, but again, you have the right to in that shift whenever you get ready and I'm only going to do two hours a day like I previously said all right let's go get Chick-fil-a and then let's end our day and we'll do a wrap up give you a couple of tips for those who are thinking about door dashing or new to door dashing make sure you keep track of your mileage because you get 58 cent a mile credit on your taxes let me give you an example. This past year, I made $10,000 door dashing. Again, I'm retired. I just do this to have something to do and plus make a little pocket change. But I had $9,000 in tax credit. So let's say for typically on a $10,000 income, you're gonna pay 3,000 in taxes. That's not necessarily true, but I'm just talking about if you only looked at that as 30% taxes, you would only know $3,000. Well, I had $9,000 in tax credit just from my mileage. So that's gonna help my overall taxes out and any other income that I bring in with social security or retirement checks, so. Okay, folks, that concludes my shift for today. Two hours and six minutes. Made a total of $44.75. Can't beat that, that is great.